Hello and welcome back to the let's play of Legendary Heroes Trails in the Sky. Um, last time we left off just having come to the town of Roland to report to the Bracers Guild. But before I do that, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. There's a the map. Uh, Bracers Guild is the little red spot. And go see what's around. Go into these buildings. You read my mind. Don't be rude, Joshua. She knows exactly why she's here. Buying shoes. Suddenly, it came to the right spot. I need to buy that newspaper I almost forgot. Alright, can I buy it? What else do you have to say? Then I got married and had a kid, and I needed to earn the tuition to put the kid through school, and next thing I know, I'm 40. I'm running this stupid store that sells shoes. Hey. That's right. Oh, it's not in yet. Okay. I can't buy it, so I have to go to the, the guild first. Alright, let's go. This Out the morning to you, sir. Everybody's picking on her. Style weapon. But I can't afford any of this right now. Gosh, I use short knives. Let's convert. Okay. All right. I should probably go upstairs, but since this is a video designed to be watched, um, I'm actually not gonna talk to everybody, even though I do want to. That's for my own playthrough. It's going to take forever if you want to talk to everybody. So let's go to the guild. Neat. Let me go upstairs. What are these? Okay. Just tarot cards, I believe. You know, I played a lot of games with tarot cards in it. I never really remember what they mean. And I 
I mean, remember because I, every single time I play one of those, I would say, hey, this is really interesting. I'm gonna find out what these tarot cards mean and then I forget. What do you mean by that? Yes, why not be on time? Finally! Ah, come on Estelle. Why don't you teach me something interesting? Being so mean to her. Sounds like a JRPG protagonist, if you ask me. Worst trades out. Whether you will successfully cook your dinner today or not. That up that that upside down wheel of fortune means that that's what your pot gonna look like. more homework. So I've actually just finished playing another one of the Trails games that I localized. It was Trail of Cold Steel. Uh, Japanese is Seno Kiseki, and it's actually set on a different country on the same continent. And kind of the, the whole thing about the current situation is that uh, there's technology is moving very, very fast where they are right now. That has kind of very profound influences on the society and how people act. We'll see that more. Trace are basically the do gooders, like the Red Cross or something. And Zemurian Continent is the continent for the setting of all the Trails games. Again, Erebonian Empire is kind of this game, sort of the, the bad guys, sort of. Uh, and in the on well, the other trails game, the Trail of Cold Steel, you actually play with characters inside of the empire. 
kind of see what's going on over there. But anyway. I remember everything, Shara. Alright, let's speed some stuff up. He's so happy. My name. First job is to figure out what your job is. Fine, fine. Today, dear diary, today, <clears throat> dear bracer notebook, today I got assignments from a very troublesome lady. She just wouldn't shut up about duties and responsibilities and I just want to smack things and wear shoes. Yes, okay, thanks. Ah, people. Okay. Go find a chest. Sewers. Sounds like a quest. learn how to check the art of checking a bulletin board. Alright. Every time I get to guild, check the bulletin board first. No, I've always thought like that. get some orpments the word oh boy I was not going to be happy about this. I'll show you the orpment in a little bit once they let us do it.
But basically, warpments are kind of like skill slots, if you will. You can, you have a bunch of, each character has a certain number of slots that you can put warts in. And these cords give you different abilities, basically, you could use. These, uh, these abilities essentially are called spells. Well, they're called arts and they're basically spells. Then, um, Sepith is... I'm not going to go ahead and read it since it's the same thing, but Sepith basically is kind of the currency you use to make these quartz, the different kind of quartz, and also to open new slots onto the, uh, the Orpman for uh, each character. Alright, thanks, Sarah. Dal doesn't care. Joshua is. Joshua is picky. All right. Give me some quartz. Oh. Hi, Freddy. Well, you had to say it first. Yes, sir. So here's the stealth slot. There's this is the central slot. And she's got these two and then these two. And actually you see the different slots are on different lines. It turns out that the way that what arts you get in this game is determined by kind of the number or the elemental cores that you put into the slots. So if you want really powerful spell of a certain affinity, like uh, fire or water, you tend to need to put more fire or water quartz into the same line. That will kind of sum up to be uh, what you need. But let's see here. I don't have enough to really open a new slot, I think. And see, Joshua has one line with only one, and then another line with four slots. And his style has two and three. So technically, Joshua will be able to access higher level arts because he has uh, more slot on the same line, which means he can put in more quartz of the same element. Let's make some quartz. I'm gonna make action one. Then I'll make, let's make attack one. And we'll go to Orbment. Then attack one for Stell. And since Joshua, the first slot is he can only take time quartz, we will put in action one. And you see, when he does that, two Orbor Arts showed up. And Clock Up and Sobler, those are spells he can cast. And the action one gives an increase in speed. Whereas, of course, Estelle, attack one gives bonus in attack and activates this fire move skill. Okay. I did that. Recovery arts. Uh, recovery arts. HP. I shouldn't have done that. So I'm gonna put in HP one. Here is the healing art that I have. Let's see if that's good enough.
Eh, stop. I'm gonna go ahead and open to this one. Happy enough? Don't know if happy enough for Joshua. Yes, Estelle, she said test. I always worry about the, the fate of humanity. Now jump into this hole. Jump into this hole while I watch as you futilely trying to crawl back up while I play my tarot card here. Putting a bunch of full cards on the top. So mean, my gosh. But that wasn't a request, that's not a test. <laughs> I like sewers too. Challenge test the test to get lost down in the sewers. Let's go already! Sm the monsters are not gonna smack themselves. Stop talking. Alright. Okay. So we'll end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, let's try to get lost in the sewer.